Okay, we are back where we left off, so let us keep on talking through the flashback. <laughs> okay, Barrett. So, yep, uh, Tifo is still outside the bear, uh, the reactor. So, yeah, that mansion right there, the Shinra mansion. You know, it's kind of funny just to watch the other NPCs just uh, slowly turn as they're watching Cloud. Look at that! It is silly! Okay, so we are here in the Shinra Mansion. We'll be able to explore more of it later on, but not right now. So we have to head on over here into this room. Secret Room! What could be at the end of the tunnel? What secrets lie within? Oh, there he is! <laughs> Man, look at all those books on the shelves. There's even more of them right there. Man. Try counting up all those books from that ang from this angle. Okay. So he just needs to be alone? Okay. All right, then. So you leave, and he's going to go through all these books. Man, look at that pile. You know, it would have been funny if there was like a like a clock in the corner or something like that tells you like what time it is and uh, and all that stuff, you know? I wonder how long this would take. I assume it probably like days having to read through all those books. Oh, the music. Sometime later. Okay, so this is the uh, left side. So we just gotta head back down into the uh, basement. Sephiroth seems different. Hmm. I wonder why. Oh, but listen to that. It's going to lead into something. Oh, Sephiroth laughing. Well, hey, at least he put almost all the books back on the shelves. Almost all of them. <laughs> So there he is. Traitor? What did I do? All I was doing was just laying on that bed while you were just reading all those books. But this is the point where Sephiroth goes completely nuts. I mean that's another thing. I wonder how how long, like how many days or how many hours later or something like that. But then again, 
I don't know. I mean, because having to go through all those books and trying to think, you know, Sephiroth believes all this may have taken some time. But this angle right here is where where I think it completely ruins uh, uh, Sephiroth as a character. I mean, of course, despite all this, he's still one of the iconic, more iconic game villains. But because of the Genova angle, this ruins Sephiroth as, uh, to my to my opinion, to my opinion, Sephiroth is not one of the one of the greatest game villains. Now, if there was no Genova angle, then yes, Sephiroth could have been one of the uh, greatest game villains, no doubt about it. And as well as iconic, he's iconic no matter what, no doubt. Uh oh. But listen to that music. So Cloud just made like the Metallica song and jump in the fire. getting so dark now well it is dark outside but <laughs> the music is just getting making it even darker ouch delayed reaction You know, that that looks like a delayed reaction. I mean, he just sliced his head square in half. I mean, as soon as he sliced it in half, he probably should have stopped moving. <laughs> Man. Okay, so we're back at the reactor. Ha! I didn't miss it again. Bam! So we just gotta hope I head back into the room. Oh, and there's Tifa. Uh-oh. I hate them all! We actually saw this scene not too long ago. It was back in the uh, Sector 5 reactor. So because of the whole Genova angle, it's caused... It's, made, it's what's really making Sephiroth go complete bonkers. Ouch! Ow! Bet that didn't feel good. Oh, Tifa. Yeah, we we didn't forget the promise. Yet she's still alive after all that. It looked like that animation looked like it could have sliced her head her body right in half. I don't know. Maybe it just left like a big cut or something? I don't know. Hmm. Yet she's still alive. So that's Genova. Oh, <laughs> this music. You cannot help but get goosebumps whenever you hear this.
It looks so funny with those subtitles coming up, even though his mouth is not moving. <laughs> oh, was that not Genova? Oh, but that is. That's what he thinks. Again, that's what he thinks. Oh, Cloud. Talk about shattered dreams. Oh boy, we're gonna have an epic duel right here, folks. Just kidding. Of course not. So that's how it all started. That's too bad. He didn't remember the rest. So yeah, but yeah. Cloud and Tifa are still alive. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Aerith. Uh, Aerith. <laughs> if a villain company is controlling the papers, any media? Yeah. Yeah, I just said that. She's still alive. <laughs> Barrett's like, nope, that's it. I'm going to make like a ball going out of the park. I'm going to make like a home run. Going gone. Yeah, let's do that. Yep. Oh, brother. That's all you can say about that. <laughs> Yace? Uh, stabbed? Uh, I don't know if that's what you consider a stabbing. What do you guys think? Was she stabbed or sliced? <laughs> From the animation, it looked like she was sliced. But then again, her body wasn't sliced in half. Ah... Uh... Indeed, a fascinating story. Uh, but let's not leave just yet. If you go up to this counter right here, interact with it five times. And here's the fifth time. Then Cloud will kick it. You can get a free Mega Elixir. Sweetness. Alright, so that's everything here in the uh, inn. Alright, so now Aerith's gonna give us a PHS. So now we'll be able to switch party members whenever we want. In the world map or the save points. But let's go ahead and explore the rest of Calm while we're at it. If you talk to her, uh, this will be another opportunity to increase the uh, uh, affection points for your party members. I'm gonna increase. Uh, I'm gonna increase it by one, saying you're full of it. But if you go up, he oh, but hold on a second. If you go in here, you can find an ether, and there's a couple of items you can find in these houses, but most of them are gonna be ethers. And we'll have another chance to increase our party member's affection points by talking to this character. And you say, yeah, maybe. Okay, so that's everything in, in this house. This house over here. If you look in here. Oh, you find a dog. <laughs> How cruel. Why is that dog stuffed in there? Uh, you can't open this. If you look in here, you can find yet another ether. Another ether. <laughs> That's everything in this house. This house. 
you look up the steps in this cabinet, you can find a guard source. Then we'll take this staircase. We'll find a peacemaker. Unfortunately, we can't put the peacemaker to use yet. So that'll the peacemaker will be put to use uh, later on. That's everything in this house. And go ahead and go over to. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> go into this house over here. Look in here. You can find the another ether. And this person right here uh, collects uh, rare items. But unfortunately, that will come into play much later on. So I don't think I'll go through getting every single thing in this uh, game. Because a lot of the stuff are like uh, extra stuff, not part of the main story. But over here is the item store. I'm going to buy a couple of good items here to help me out a little bit. May as well have at least a couple of everything. Tranquilizer. I'm actually going to buy a couple tranquilizers. Uh, uh, well, you'll see why. Oh, I forgot to uh, sell some of these ethers. Okay, so we don't really have a big use for ethers, so I'm going to go ahead and at least sell 10 of these. So now we got over 10,000 gil to start us off. So yeah, if you can find all those ethers, you'll be in for quite a lot of money. Here's the materia store. You can get another steel. Uh, another sense. You can get heal. You can get poison. You can get earth. Don't think we'll really need them at this point. And over here is the weapon store. So you can get uh, more uh, stuff, of course. You can get the mithril saber for cloud. I could buy the mithril claw for... Uh, Tifa, but we'll actually get a good weapon for uh, Tifa a little later. But with that, I think that it's everything to do here in Calm. I can always come back to here just in case if I need any of those uh, extra materia or whatnot. Maybe not right now. Okay, so our next destination is down there. Let's go ahead and try out our new Matra magic that we got earlier. Bam! Triple play, cable and that end phone, all for one low monthly rate. And we got a free potion out of that. Okay, so over here is the Chocobo Farm. But I'm not going to head in there just yet. See that thing right there? Well, I'd have to look at it again because now we're taking a back attack. I'm going to save up my limits. Because uh, I'm going to need it for this uh, part coming up. Didn't take him down in a single hit. That's ridiculous. Okay, Matra Magic again. It's actually not a bad move, since it's only 8 MP. It attacks all enemies, and it does pretty solid damage. Okay, I'm not going to go too far, because as soon as you touch that shadow, you have an interaction with it. So I'm going to Mess around with the uh, Cloud's equipment real quick. I'm going to make sure I put uh, Fire Than All with the uh, Cloud on Cloud's armor. As for Tifa... I think that should be good. Uh, Barrett, I'm going to 
I'm going to take uh, uh, some of the magic material off of Barrett for now. But we'll put it put them all back on Barrett. And I want to have the group in the back. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm going to give the all my party a tranquilizer. And you'll see why. Oh, I forgot one thing. I forgot to equip the elemental materia to Cloud, so it can be paired with fire. And you'll see why. <laughs> 